at USA 2020 and beyond, where I'm going to tell you how it is. Check this out. Children, and neither will my colleagues. That is, at the end of the day, what this is about. It is unnecessary to separate children from their families. It is unnecessary to have a policy to detain innocent women and families that have harmed no person and are legally seeking asylum in the United States of America. I will not make a compromise so that we deport, unjustly deport, just a few less. No, we will stop these practices altogether and we will not stop until they are ceased and fully held accountable. According to Ocasio Cortez, Trump was running concentration camps. The United States is running concentration camps on our southern border. And that is exactly what they are. They are concentration camps. And, um... By the way, she wasn't even in the building when the riot occurred. Here's another reason why she's so dangerous. She's a liar. And there's nothing more dangerous than a lying politician that influences the public. You'll see. But listen to this ludicrous explanation. Uh, that apparently climate change and the border, somehow those issues are connected somehow in her mind. It's a crisis, it's a climate crisis, it's a trade crisis. And also, it's a carceral crisis. Because as I have already said, crisis, it's an imperialism crisis, it's a climate crisis, it's a trade crisis. It's an imperialism crisis, it's a climate crisis, it's a trade war crisis. Okay. I'm not really sure what imperialism trade wars and climate change have to do with an influx of people from South America that want to come to America for the United States for a better life, but also that scump, uh, I call it like I see it. Uh, let's go ahead. Let me show you another couple clips real quick and uh, y'all can get on with the rest of your night. Just gut check. Stop. Anyone who's using the term surge around you consciously is trying to invoke a militaristic frame. Okay, so she's using the words, it's a militaristic frame. So she's confusing the word surge with the, the separate word insurgents. Like an insurgent is someone who fights against their own government versus the definition of surge. So let me break this down the end of the video. Just stay tuned for another moment. And that's a problem. Uh, long wave-like forward movement, rush or sweep, or a sudden and great increase. Why does Alexandria think the term surge is invoking a militaristic frame and white supremacist tropes? Because these, this is not a surge. These are children, and they are not insurgents, and we are not being invaded. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Yeah>. ah. <laughs> sorry. Oh, compose myself. I'm making a video. Oh, sorry, YouTube. Holy mother of wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Woo. This is, uh, I made a video earlier called Ignorance is a Choice. Yeah. Well, for some people, they're a special kind of stupid. And if I have to explain the difference to a 30 something year old person, the difference between the definition of the word surge and the definition of the word insurgents, well, just take a look at her face. She looks a little bit clueless. Now, I'm not knocking people that lack education, but if you got voted into Congress and somehow you still, at this point in your life, don't know the difference between the word surge and insurgents, you probably shouldn't be in Congress. Which, by the way, is a white supremacist idea, philosophy. Oh, dear God. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so now uh, it's a white supremacist idea, you see? Um, outlandish allegations, outlandish claims from a very ignorant, dangerous individual. People like AOC are very, very dangerous because they encourage influence, manipulate, and influence the masses of people who are already ignorant with that same level of ignorance and back up that regurgitation of nonsense so that people just kind of look back and they...
say, oh, yeah, AOC, she's fighting for the border, da 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 They're like, yeah. People like her are exactly what is wrong with America. Oh, gosh, people like this. If you're sick of people like this in your government, like and share.